Returning to my Coin Lady channel, I am pleased to see you again. A big update regarding smart contracts on the XRP ledger was been revealed by David Schwartz. Hang around, this might be the game changer XRP has been hoping for. What does this signify for XRP's future and the cryptocurrency ecosystem as a whole? We'll explain everything in detail. We can jump right into it now. The chief technology officer of Ripple, David Schwartz, hosted the Spaces segment on X and, for a long time, he discussed remarkable shifts in viewpoint. For those who have been following the situation, Schwartz was never advocating for smart contracts on the XRP ledger. I wanted to keep things basic, streamlined, and inexpensive, therefore I didn't think it was doable. He now sees the value in implementing smart contracts, but the ones on Ethereum and Cardano are less complicated and simpler. Now, according to Schwartz, XRP, or the XRP ledger, can implement smart contracts in a straightforward manner, without adding unnecessary complexity or bloating to the system. The XRP ledger would then be positioned as an efficient and quick blockchain that can accommodate complex features for certain applications without becoming cumbersome. Wind and XRPL labs are obvious, and we know he was addressing Symphony Finance. Instead of attempting to replicate Ethereum's complex infrastructure, Swartz is once again advocating for this streamlined method, which is strikingly similar to Hooks. This would be a good match for the efficient framework and identity of the XRP ledger, and it might be the solution to the problem of Hooks. Taking advantage of the XRP ledger's speed, cost, effectiveness, and capability, with a lot of stuff integrated directly into that blockchain, could open the way for developers who want to bypass complex chains and heavy programming languages. It's going to revolutionize the game. You will now have slightly greater leeway to construct the future XRP ledger, low-cost transactions, and smart contracts on the main chain. When it comes to specialized markets, where efficiency and simplicity are paramount, this may be a lifesaver. So, what's the big deal? The integration of smart contracts into a blockchain seems simple enough, what's the catch? David's discussion of this today is fascinating. Storage is the one big problem that requires fixing during the X Spaces part, David Schwartz voiced his worry about the XRP Ledger's payment model storage capacity, and someone has to pay for it. These nodes include the complete history. The more we load it up, the more expensive it gets, and someone will have to pay to keep it safe. Also, storage expenses are not covered by Ethereum's gas fees. The XRP ledger isn't designed to handle payments like this natively. In this case, there is no incentive that is better than none. Therefore, the XRP ledger isn't truly getting slower due to an increase in transactions. Therein lies the issue. According to David Schwartz, this increasing storage need is the single most detrimental thing that may happen to the XRP ledger. That's why they need to be nimble and efficient. However, smart contracts have a catch. I think the news that smart contracts are on the way will probably have a bigger impact on the price of XRP than any sort of finished products, but don't expect them to make a big difference during this current bull run. I expect it to pick up in the fourth quarter of this year. Getting this done is going to be a challenge, in my opinion. One of their framework choices will have to be finalized. Roll it out, construct it, and put it through its paces. Plenty of time will pass for this. In my view, there are two elements that will drive the short-term price of XRP. The first is the relisting of XRP on major cryptocurrency exchanges in the United States. This is a long-term move for the XRP ledger ecosystem. I am impressed by that. It has previously transpired. That is crucial. Buying XRP directly from a major US crypto exchange will occur for the first time during this cryptocurrency bull run. The second major factor is whether or whether the SEC files an appeal. It would be preferable if they didn't, but it won't be a disaster anyway. Pay close attention to that. There will be an answer to that question soon. I believe that the SEC's decision to appeal Judge Torres's ruling in that case would put some constraints on the XRP price appreciation, particularly the very high price objectives that were set. Sector 
Some investors may avoid XCRP because of the pending dispute, while others will simply not be willing to take the risk. Keep a watch on that. If the court case concludes with no appeal, we could be unable to receive potential ETF listings in 2025 if they simply refuse to do it. For the upcoming year, those are the main factors that will determine the price of XRP. The wonderful world of smart contracts will not come to fruition for quite a while. I mean, come on. Last but not least, we must not overlook Ripples, RL, USD, Stablecoin, and the release of RL. In my opinion, this is the first major test that Ripple will face in putting its vision into action, and USD might really help XRP here. I mean, come on. Their lives have been on the line in court. Things have deteriorated as they haven't had the opportunity to pay close attention to their company and its technologies. It has been brought up, and we have taken note of it. It's the way things are. That is now in the past. A great deal of progress has already been made on the XRP ledger. Now we'll see how Ripple works. Is the stablecoin going to be launched? Is it even possible for them to succeed? I need to witness it in this place before I can dream of greater things. Be on the lookout for indications of a Ripple pivot, particularly if it is connected to a settlement with the SEC. If this stable coin becomes popular in the ecosystem, it might lead to long-term growth for XRP, increased liquidity on the chain, and greater trading activity. I have a good idea of whether it will happen, but if it does, it will be the only way for a pivot to become extremely public. Beyond that, we probably won't hear anything about it for quite some time, perhaps after this forthcoming bull run, if they are changing their payment practices or depending more on Ethereum to settle payments. On the other hand, a public Ripple pivot with two potential risks is an SEC appeal. Pay close attention to those two items. You know, those could restrict our development to an extent, but I really couldn't care less. At this point, XRP is far more favorable. Not this time. Development is moving at a rapid pace. In addition to direct liquidity on US exchanges, the courts have made it clear that XRP is not a security. Grayscale is only one example of how individuals are starting to feel safe enough to re-establish trust, others will follow. It's a huge improvement over our situation in December of 2020, when the court lawsuit was filed. The value of XRP was significantly impacted by that. That is not available at the moment. In conclusion, I have high hopes for XRP's future value and trajectory in the forthcoming altcoin season and growth cycle. But, you should maintain a close watch on the two danger concerns I mentioned earlier. Last but not least, David Schwartz, a smart contract update. It's thrilling. It's an integral aspect of the XRP Ledger's grand plan. It's actually all about the re-listings and the SEC case, which is causing a huge shift with side chains being formed out of all sorts of material in the short run. Let's put that in the past for now but don't discount the narrative and practical benefits of an RLUSD stablecoin. More attention to this ecosystem means more liquidity on-chain, more XRP trading on-chain, and all sorts of exciting things can be built out of this. Meanwhile, what are your thoughts on the matter? The XRP ledger, specifically smart contracts. Are they going to completely alter the course of events, or is this merely the beginning? The viewer's presence here is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I will see you later.